morning i hope you all are doing well today it's hot outside i'm already sweating i had to edge my front yard in order for christopher to cut my yard today like my edge line like really straight y'all already know plus that weed eater is heavy i'm about to get out here and harvest some food this morning i am going to do the things i said once i needed to do the other day that i did not do okay so i'm about to knock some of this out take y'all along with me a little bit today if i can and if it doesn't overheat, like the battery, because I was going to bring the big camera. As soon as I set it up, it was like heat, overheat. I was like, oh my goodness, it's hot. I'm looking for my, here it is, my speaker. So I can listen to some music while I'm out here. I'm telling y'all, it ain't been a week. And it grows so quick. But I had to keep it cut in order to maintain. Uh, let me close this door. In order to keep the bugs away from my food, so... I'm about to get started. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I'm in zone 9A. Look at that. It's not even. What time is it? Like 10, 20? And I have to cover everything already. We're going to talk about what's in the towers today. I'm going to tackle harvesting today. I'm going to tackle weeding today, cutting the yard today. I'm also going to tackle covering this up today because it needs to be covered. I'm going to pull up what's dead today. And that's about it. I'm not chopping thing back or anything like that. Just if it's dead, I'm just tossing in trash. So yeah, come along and hang out with me today. And let's see what we can get done. I already watered this area this morning. I watered some of the other plants too. I just turned the sprinklers on while I dropped the kids at camp. And um, yeah, so it looks good over here. It's actually shaded over here right now and then it gets sun. So it looks really good over here. And these are giant zinnias, the giant zinnia pack. If I can find the seeds, I'll try to link them down below on Amazon. But So you can just find them pretty much at Home Depot on Lowe's too. But these are the giant ones, the ones that's like six foot tall I was telling you all about. So I'm going to cut a bunch of these today. The more you cut, the more it comes back like this. See how another flower is going to be right here? So it's like it goes, it's the, it's the stalk of the flower, but it's going to produce more flowers on this one stalk. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. The more I cut it, the more it comes back. Oh, yeah, it's a wasp. So, like this one, when I cut it, I have to cut it, like, right here. And then this will be two more flowers right here. So, I'm going to do that. Pick some of these eggplant young. I don't want to pull up the eggplant, but I have enough frozen, so I don't know what to do with that. What else? Definitely harvesting. It's so wet over here now. Got to water everything, but it won't last long. It'll dry up quick. And probably check back there um the potatoes see how they're doing now that's the giant one right there with zinnia this is not a giant zinnia and it's already about five foot tall so it's weird it's not even a giant zinnia but anyway what else oh i'm gonna fill up my bucket i don't know where it's at well i don't know how i'm gonna do that because it's over here with dirt i need to fill this up with water and add some fish fertilizer and go through and fertilize everything except for the eggplant i ain't fertilizing that we don't need no more so i'm gonna fertilize everything with the fish fertilizer today i know i'm gonna just fill that up with water and then add the fertilizer to it i don't measure and that's about it so i'm gonna pull my little harvest basket out and i need one of these because i need this for well i might need two of these i need this for um, the marigold seeds if i see any seeds like off uh, for the plants i need to go ahead and just grab them and harvest these seeds so i can have them for next year but yeah because i want all the marigolds uh, not just those big pretty ones that we like the teddy bear ones i want them all so i'm gonna go ahead and put all these that's you know dead and gone and then once they dry out i'm putting on like a sheet pan or something i can actually let them just dry here and when they dry out take out the seeds so that's what we're doing today. I'm not really into pulling any weeds or anything like that today. I'm just pulling that one because it's there. But I have berries over there that need to be harvested. All this needs to be taken care of as if watering. But other than that, I'm just going to harvest what I can. Look, the sun got my pole pepper plant just wilting. Like it's horrible out here. I'm going to see if I can find some more covers for this plant. And if I can... I'll cover this one real quick before I get started, but there's plenty of peppers to pick from here. So let me go ahead and start harvesting. I'll take you along as I go. Um, as I harvest, and we go from there. This grass is so big. <laughs> this grass is to my knees. <laughs> right, so I didn't find a cover for this tower, 
but you can see it's starting to like wilt and stuff so i'm just gonna water them real good and go from there cut off some of these peppers so it won't be straining so much and then if i can get rid of some of these peppers off the plant to relieve it from the stress maybe it will help with the wilting i don't know it's Look at the strawberry plant is just gone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pulling up everything dead so Tara can bag it. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And go from there. Oh y'all, it's hot. Yeah, no, we have a, a garbage can right there. Alright, so here are the berries. A little update. Something's eating at them. Something comes through here and eats them. But um and picks them off and eat them. It's not me. <laughs> it's either someone or something. But um, here's the update on the berries. So I'm about to water all this real good. It's kind of partial shade now that we've, uh, let me get over here and show you. Uh, now that we've moved it, it's kind of partial shade. So that kind of helps it without straining for it to be, um, yeah, it's still moist in there. So we're good with that. It's just that it's hot. I mean, it is what it is. Look at all these pretty berries. Yeah, something's definitely coming through here and eating at them. Yep. All right, so I'm just gonna pick some of these. And I wonder if these can change in the window like the tomatoes do. Can I do that? I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. Whatever. All right, so let me get this water in, get the peppers off, and go from there. All right, so there is a lot of uh, suckers, like on this plant. I'm gonna use tomatoes, be, but um, I try to cut some of them off. But as you see, they're just growing like crazy in here. And at this point, I don't really come through when it's been like these plants been established. I don't really come through and cut off suckers like that anymore. I just let them grow and do their thing. So, plus I have produced a lot of tomatoes off these plants so I'm not really tripping I'll just cut that big one so it won't be so hard Look, this is a whole another tomato plant it's crazy how fast they grow but yeah so I'm trimming some stuff off picking out some tomatoes look how many suckers this one has this is crazy I'm just going to cut this whole thing off that's crazy. Anyway, yeah, this one's full of suckers. I don't even know. But it has tomatoes. I mean, it's growing still. A, a ton of tomatoes. It's so weird how this one grew like this. But, And this is just a random one that grew from here. A volunteer so yeah we're just gonna pick some of these off Penny's not here so she can't pick the tomatoes today she had camp and when they come back she's hot so and exhausted from camp so I'm not gonna bother but I'm gonna come through here and trim just a little bit more off of this one and pick all the ones I can that haven't been like eaten on and go from there all right, so I did as many suckers as I wanted to on here and picked off all the tomatoes, except for this big one that's coming through here. I haven't done this one. Look, it's just a random. To These are literally like coming from here. Here's a tomato plant. Here's a tomato plant. <laughs> I could probably just take these off and literally plant them. This is crazy. But anyway, we'll figure that out. I might do something with that. I'm going to go ahead and prune this back. I'm going to prune this all this way back. Because this is too big. It's taking over the whole bed. No sunlight can come through here with other things that's trying to grow. So I'm going to prune this back real quick. Alright, so now the bed can get some light. And hopefully these onions can get daylight now. I went ahead and trimmed all that back. And yeah, it looks better now. I can actually like walk through here without tramping over a bunch of eggplant. And it was a lot of them in there. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and tackle the pepper bed next. This really sucks because I really wanted that black or purple bell pepper to grow. I, I really like these. I had only, I've only harvested two, so it kind of sucks that this didn't make it. 
but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna pull all this out. That needs to come out so I can go ahead and cover all this back up. All right, so I got the cover put up pretty, pretty much along the way a little bit. Put up the dead pepper. Um, we have another piece right here. I guess I had a piece. Okay, so I guess I had an extra piece. So, like I said in the other video, this is just some seeds that are sprouting. I have some corn, some kale, peppers. I think this is the peppers over here. Some more kale, some, I think carrot seeds are down here too. Just a little bit. You can tell they're in rows, so you can kind of see the rows of food forming. So, and it's another row right there. I'm gonna pick these tomatoes off of from over here and go ahead and weed eat this side of the garden, knock that out. Here's that lemon balm. I really need to cut it back. It's just it's dying on me. Um need these weeds picked. I put a little cover over there, but this one's much bigger. So I'm gonna put this cover over there right quick and use that little cover just to cover like the peppers or something but yeah so so far I got a few peppers and eggplant picked but yeah, I'm gonna knock this side out and then take a quick break <laughs> okay let me show you what I've gotten done I actually need to go in and take a break I'm extremely like hot and dehydrated y'all know I'm doing raw foods right now and I haven't really eaten anything this morning I just had a little bit of watermelon juice so it is probably like 12 15 or so and I, I gotta get something in me but um <clears throat> yeah so everything's been fertilized out here along this side of the garden with the alaskan fish fertilizer i'll show that to y'all later i might just plug it in so we did fill up this bucket right here with water and what i do is just pour some in we stir it and here are some left and we normally just dip that in there and just feed everything so this is the only thing that hasn't been fed but I like to water those deeply before I feed them. Plus, I was trying to harvest the corn and some of the ants have already gotten to the corn. So that's another whole story. <clears throat> but so far, I've gone through and just weed eat it around this edge line. You can kind of tell where I stopped with cutting the yard. It's hot. It's like 102 right now. So I'll come back out later. So all this has been fed. I haven't taken off all the dead seeds yet of the plants because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired to be honest it's hot and I need to go cool off so everything's been fed and watered over here everything's been taken care of we added some more dirt in here some more soil we need to add some more we did harvest one of the cantaloupes I'll show you when we get inside as you see they're still coming I don't even know if it's any more large ones like behind here I really can't see them yeah, I really can't see them. And it was a lot of, yeah, see, it's a lot of wasp activity over here. So I'm just trying to just mind my business and let them do their job. It's a lot of wasps. So we have a lot of flowers open over here. I was trying to make sure <clears throat> so I can hang them, but whatever. I'm going to let it do its, you know, run its course like nature would, right? Is there one back there? Mm, okay. So, like I said, everything's been watered and taken care of. And, ooh baby your girl is sucking with tired so i need to take this down but this won't be taken down until like around saturday for trash day or something i have no desire like i'm tired <laughs> to take that down at all we're still getting tomatoes so i'm leaving those three tomatoes there even though i mean they get hanging on but girl they still producing some tomatoes so if they still producing let them do what they do right I did cut back that marigold that was right here. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over trying to look behind it, do everything behind it. So I got all that grass up right there, but I came around the edge line and edged all this up real good. Kept that marigold. As you see, everything's been fed over here too. We went ahead and fish fertilized everything that was growing. I have to do a better job at covering this, but I'm exhausted, so it is what it is. Weeds need to be picked out of here, but everything that had sprouts was fed so we can get a good start on growing, of course. And like I said, everything over here was covered. Um, she didn't put this cover back, but it's all good. I'll just throw this back like this. Yeah, all this was covered to try to protect the peppers back there. And like I said, all that was cleaned up. 
Let me step back here some so I can show you. Because it's going to be like part one. <laughs> so yeah, all this along this line was cleaned up, weed eat, fed, taken care of, old plants taken out. No new seeds dropped or anything like that. But you can kind of see where I cut and where I stopped. <laughs> so it's like half of this yard is done, which is cool. I could take a break. I deserve a break. I wish I had an umbrella here. I still need an umbrella so bad. But um, yeah. Okay, let's just put these up here to dry. So in here, I got these weeds from between the beds. Penny normally does that. She normally works for that. So it's either potatoes are starting to come through or whatever. So I'm gonna let them do what they do. Some of it starts from the compost. I really need to empty that compost and move it. So I don't know when that's gonna be done. Something is eating up the leaves over here. Probably should just pull this up because we never put anything down in this bed. I don't know what we're going to do with this bed. I just need to pull everything out except for like the onions, the okra, and the flowers. Yeah, I don't know what to plant here. Y'all help me out. It's 100 degrees, so probably nothing until fall, right? And then over there in that little container, y'all supposed to tell me what to plant over there too. No one gave me any suggestions on the last video, so help your girl out. But some of this is growing back. The lemon balm, the pineapple, sage, whatever. Remember um, last year when all this was just basil and parsley and all things herbs. So stuff is coming back. This is so pretty. Yeah. I might need this shade cloth for a second. <laughs> all right, let's walk over here. I did trim this one back, this eggplant. It was so huge. Yeah, I got to go inside. I feel dizzy. It's a sugar free filling. Oh, oh, how cool is this? Hmm. Okay, let me show y'all. I'm hot. <laughs> so, hydration multiplier, sugar free. Definitely about to drink one of these right now because I'm so thirsty. So, this first one is lemon lime, a citrusy duo. So loud, use your hand over the ox. Cool. Three times the electrolytes. Okay, so that's that one. This one I've already tasted. This is like that white peach. This one's really good. Does it say white peach? What does it say? Peach, yeah, white peach. And then this one is like the white grapes. Yeah. So, I know what this one tastes like. I'll taste this one. Green gray. All right. So y'all know us. We buy liquid IV anyway from Costco or Amazon, wherever we see it. I am an affiliate with them. I do have a link, but we go through a lot of it from working outside the garden. So I just buy it, you know. So sometimes they send me, you know, these PR packages. Sometimes they don't. So we make sure we always have liquid IV. Like I'm not going a day <laughs> in the garden without liquid IV. It's so hot out there. Oh my God, it's just so hot out there. Oh. That's good. It's but not my hair gel, but it is hot. And I need a break. I have not eaten. It's 12.27. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I'm not even hungry. There's some more goodies in this box. Let me show you. Oh, girl. I probably tore that up. I probably wasn't supposed to do that. Look at this. Okay. 
that a speaker? Oh, it is. It's a Bluetooth speaker. Fuck out of here. It does. It's a charge and port and everything. Come on, Liquid IV. So I wonder who, who they... Um, sometimes Liquid IV would collaborate with certain companies. Um, zero. Zero regrets. That's cool. Zero regrets. Let me see. Hold on. Put my little puff through the hole back here. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's kind of big, but it's okay. It'll work. Liquid IV. Another cup. Y'all know how we love our cups. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is a good one, too. This is an insulated cup. Oh, this is a good one. It will fit in my car. This might be my next gym cup because that other one won't fit in my car. I'm so annoyed by it. So, do I just pop it? With, I need to be able to use one hand while I'm in the gym and not touch the spout. Okay. Oh, I like this one. It's insulated. You can hear it. Yeah. So, shout out to Liquid IV. They be coming through with some goodies, don't they? Look how brown I look. I look so brown. Anyway. It's hot outside, so I gotta come in for a little bit. I was thinking about going live on TikTok in the evenings and showing like my my smoothie bowls or my last meal of the day. I need to do a video for real on this, but I was thinking about going on TikTok right and doing live videos at the end of the day, showing um. Okay, there's too much going on. That one's good. I'm alive. <laughs> All right. So, oh my goodness, y'all. It's so hot outside. It's so crazy. I got a message on the garden upload, right? The, the update on the garden, things I need to do. And someone put on there that in zone eight, when they get like temperatures at like 92 or whatever, like this is say late lower 90s, it's like a cool front. And I'm like, girl, I know what you talk about. I remember one time last year, it was like, it's going to be in the high 80s today, around 991. And I remember being 100 and something like every day. And when that happened, we were so excited to get like those temperatures. We didn't know what to do. So I feel you. So I'm inside. I had to come inside. I had to shower. I still haven't eaten. It is 136. Got my ponytail on because I was supposed to be filming, but... I had to take my nails off. Oh my goodness, I have not eaten. So I'm still eating raw and um, I could just actually drink some water and eat some fruit, but I need to eat something. I know people ask me about raw foods and me cooking for the kids. I mean, w once you get past like a certain day, you, you could care less about smelling food. It doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Shorts. <laughs> Don't think she got that no, okay? Oh, my house is dirty. I gotta eat first. Before we do, before we harvest, <sighs> before we, I show you my um, harvest, I have to eat first. But look how big this box is. <laughs> We're definitely eating a salad, and I think I'm gonna do a, a dressing with some cashews since I have some cashews. So let's grab a bowl. And my house is so dirty. We need to do another clean with me video. So I did want I need to edit and then we need to do one downstairs, clean that area, and then show you what I did with the other bookshelves. That looks so good. That looks so good. Oh my god, I love my bookshelf. Alright, so we need we need some food. Hold on. Alright, I got my spinner because I'm gonna have to. Watch this as I go. This one needs to come out. This whole plant. I'm gonna ate, we done ate this whole plant up. And it needs 
to come out. Look at this lettuce. What does that say? Authorize the payment. I probably did. I don't even remember. All right. Green onions. So they've all started to sprout again. So we should be good on having some more lettuce soon. So I just been eating off of what's left of the other ones. Yeah. This one's kind of growing a little wild, but this one's starting to bolt. But we're gonna eat it anyway. And this a lot of this needs to come out. And I need to like replant some stuff. But like I said, I was so busy working outside, I wasn't focusing on this. So I'm going to do much better with focus on this come fall because, girl, she's going to want all the lettuce, okay? Yeah, so let me watch this. See if I got some spinach in the refrigerator. We got everything that was in this drawer because when I um, cut the watermelon the other day, it got watermelon juice all in the drawer. And I was like, is that it? Oh, I was hiding the scream. You know, my skin was crawling, child. So, yeah, let me wash this and get me some spinach and make me a salad. All right, so I think I'm doing it with a quick dressing. Right. We got a bowl here. Oh, we got the spinach. So I washed a bunch of spinach yesterday. So can throw this in here. I need to make sure it's enough so I can be full. So for this salad, I'm gonna use a bunch of everything that crunches, like right. That way, I feel like I'm really eating something. Kind of, you know, it's the textures, but. Yeah, I really like this lettuce. I forget what it's called. I have to look it up on the machine and see. But yeah, we've been eating a lot of that lettuce lately. And I really do like that machine. I just wish I had it kept up with it a little bit better than I did. And stayed on top of like putting the, the wine cups in all the time. So like today I need to order some more wine cups. That's a little bit of green onion in there. And let's do some bell pepper. I don't know what color this pepper is supposed to be. Right? So I just want like chunks of veggies. So let me know what do you put in your salad that you always put in your salad? I mean, not just like, well, I guess you could say the dressing too, but like, what is your go-to for your salad? Like your one or two main things that you make sure that you put in your salad. For me, it's kind of, that's kind of easy. I always make sure I have like a pepper and a red onion, purple onion, whatever. Go. I just and the rest of the stuff is like okay, whatever. But I like a pepper, whether it's spicy like poblano pepper, which is pretty mild. Well, some of them can be a little spicy, but I like peppers and red onions for sure i don't think i'm ever like eating a salad without red onions <laughs> that's a no for me and i like a lot of them i used to be the type of person who had to have like croutons every time i wanted like croutons i'd be like oh i gotta have me some croutons in my salad you know what i mean whether I made them myself or just got them out the bag, I used to have to have croutons. Now I'm like, eh, whatever, you know. Like, it is what it is. Chunks, baby. Chunks. All right, so poblano peppers. Definitely gonna throw this in here. 
I just need me a sliver. Oh, girl, I love habano peppers. There's something about them. They're just so good. So the dressing I'm going to make is going to be kind of like cheesy. As if it's like a cheesy sauce or whatever with a little tang. I'll probably add a little lime juice in there to give it a little, you know. Somebody's mouth might be on fire. So I'm going to put this beauty in here. Isn't it pretty? This is from the garden too. Let me watch these mushrooms. Because we're going to put mushrooms in there. This one is one of my favorites. Like, I don't even know the name of this one. I want to say this is that... Oh, man. Yeah, my mind just went blank. I can't tell you what it is because my mind just went blank. But if it comes to me, I'll put it on the screen. But look how pretty this is. This one is so good. Like, this is... I just love the flavor of it, the smell of it. It's probably best on, like, a sub sandwich or something like that. But it's good. It is really, really good. I don't even want all of it. I'll probably eat the rest later. Yeah, it's probably best like like one of those salads where you do like the tomato, onion, peppers, and garlic like salad or something. I don't know, but ooh, that that one is so good. So of course we're gonna do poblano. Um, what is this called? Portobello mushroom. For our, you know, like meaty texture or something. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I'm surprised we even have any in here because Tara eats those up. Christopher likes to put them in the air fryer and Tara just eats them raw like every day. So we don't never have any. Well, that's good enough, right? I think so. So this will be... My first meal of the day, right? I've had water. I've had a little bit of watermelon juice. And it's 2 o'clock. I'm hungry, but I'm more like tired from being outside than hungry. But, yeah. Alright, so this is the salad. Let's make the dressing real quick. Let me put all this away. Alright, so let's get this party started. We're going to... Add some garlic. I like a lot of garlic in my salad dressings. I don't know why. I mean, people say that's crazy every time they see me do it, but I like a lot. It is what it is. So let's just say one big clove or three or four, but that's a big one because it's the Mexican garlic. I have some cashews sitting in the water from earlier because I knew I was going to eat a salad today. So I just kind of Throw some in some water so they would soften up. That's like, let's just say that's a half a cup. So I just need enough for me for right now. I'm not like, I'm not, not like I'm making this for everybody. Right. I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt, like literally, like a pinch. A pinch of salt. Whoop, that wasn't even a whole pinch. We're going to add some nutritional yeast. We need some more of this, huh? It smells like cheese to me. That's what it smells like. It smells like I'm hungry. My stomach growling. A little bit of lime juice. I'm going to add a little bit of the oat milk I have and we're gonna blend this normally I add all kind of stuff okay so I know you lie oh my god I don't think the inside is going okay there you go You know, would this be considered raw? I mean, it's just a bunch of herbs and stuff. I don't even know. It just says dehydrated like herbs. I, I don't even know, but I really like this. This is like, this season does it for me. I'm just going to leave it on the salad too. But I really like those herbs. 
And I'm too lazy to go get the, my dry herbs right now. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Garlic with that nutritional yeast. Mm. Toss this thing and then eat it. It was basically my salad dressing. I didn't put any oil in it this time because I had oil yesterday. Oh, it was the day before. It might have been the day before. I had oil in my salad dressing. So I'm trying to do oil every day. Um, the nuts are raw, by the way. They're just raw nuts. They're not cooked. Whatever. You know, um, what's the word? Y'all know what I mean. So let's toss this baby. So you know what it tastes like? Like feta cheese almost. Almost like feta cheese to me. It's really weird. Um, yeah. So I don't really miss feta cheese. And y'all know that's the only thing I would miss on a salad. I just made two gallons of watermelon juice three days ago. Three days ago? No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, yeah. So four days ago. Let's just say it's the fourth day. And the salad I left. <laughs> Girl, I was like, listen. <laughs> Y'all drinking up some juice, ain't y'all? And then we just put up another watermelon. We only have one watermelon left out of the three I purchased. They, I purchased four of what I'm talking about. I purchased three big ones and the one smaller sugar baby from Sprouts. I did a whole reel on it. I'll put it here. And um, yeah, I'll put it here so y'all can listen to it. So I went to H-E-B. They're on sale this week for $7.98. If it's good, I'll juice this one and I'll eat the sugar baby. Mmm. They're like 40 pounds. They're heavy. Sprouts has sugar babies, I think, for $4 this week. I'm just going to eat this. This whole sugar baby real quick. All right. Ciao. So just that quick, it's about 252 ounces of juice, which is almost two gallons. 32 ounces, 32 ounces. <coughs> 32 ounces, 32 ounces, 32 ounces, three of the 20 ounces, so, and when you, go, when you start eating raw, and you, and you detox your body of like processed foods, cooked foods, or whatever, right? So by the um, fourth day, fifth day, I'm over wanting anything else but raw food, right? I'm not craving pancakes and stuff that I normally would do, great. Um... By the by, the end of the first week, I'm craving more like juice, like fresh squeezed juice, and then by like the end of the first week, it's like my taste buds are on ten. I can taste everything, every bit of every food. Listen, when you eat raw like this, your taste buds change. I mean, and I don't mean like a, a quick three-day turnaround detox. I'm talking about like when you go for it. When you go for the gusto, the 14, the 21 days or whatever, your whole, like it, it cleanses like your palate. And your palate just, you can taste everything. Your taste buds are like, my taste buds are on 10. It's like I could taste everything. And it's like a party in my mouth when I add all these different like vegetables and herbs and flavors. I'm like, oh my God, this is so good. So for me, this is perfect timing because it's hot. <laughs> so fruit and salad, my body is like, okay, it's good because it's hot. You know what I mean? I'm not craving hot food because it's not cold. Last time I did this, it was winter, right? I was freezing. And now I'm like, mm-mm. Well, I think I did it once again for, what, three or four days after that? But this time, I don't even know what day I'm on. Mm. 
Girl, why that tomato taste so good? Dang. Mmm. You know what it is? Ooh. That was spicy. I think the tomato is German stripe. German stripe, I think. Ooh. Jeez. I try to grow I try to grow tomatoes this year that aren't available in our grocery store. That's what I tried this year. And baby, I found me some tomatoes. I was like, I'm gonna be looking forward to this every spring and like beginning of summer. So when fall comes around, we have enough days of fall to where leading into winter where I should be able to do my second round of tomatoes. I didn't put them out like I wanted to this past week because it's hot, hot. So what I'm gonna do is drop some more tomatoes Maybe the end of July, so give me August, September, October to still have an abundance of tomatoes. My October is people's, my October is like, I don't know, I don't even want to say spring. It's still hot. It's still hot. I normally chop up like basil or cilantro in here or something from outside. But girl, this is good. My eyes are bigger than my stomach, but I'm going to eat this whole bowl for sure. Let me get up and get my sea moss. I haven't taken it today. I had to turn the light off in here because I want, I want to cool all the way down. Actually, so somebody asked me um, what did I like best, the gummies or the capsules for the sea moss. So I like the taste of the gummies, but they are not vegan. They, they actually have gelatin in them, which I kind of went back and forth on a comment about that, saying I totally understand, I get it. I just wanted to taste to see what it tastes like. Uh, before I gave it to my daughter. <laughs> so I ordered these for Garrick and I ordered some for Tara. And so they both could have these. And I think it's helping with clearing up her skin too. So I think I'm going to like take a before picture. It's not really before though. She's been on for like a week or something. So or maybe two weeks. Has she been on for like two weeks? Mm. I might take a picture now and then of her skin. And then take a picture like 30 days later and see what it does with, you know, for her skin. But anyway... I um I, I like the capsules. I just take the capsules. I take two a day, the sea moss capsules, and y'all already know. Baby, my energy, I just feel good. So these are, I think these are vegan, but these aren't, mm, whatever. But these actually taste good. So, yeah, and I took them for like mm, a week, see what it felt like, see if I felt a difference in taking these and these. And the only thing I felt was the fact that I know I'm taking gelatin, right? And I don't do gelatin. So, you know. Um, I, don't, I don't think I really saw a difference in anything. But the capsules, I'm going to take these for life, okay? And this company go out of business or something, I don't know. But the way my body responds to these, I, I can't even, like, I can't complain about anything. No aches, no pains, no low energy, no... Girl, my mind could be like in a rut, but my body's like, well, when we gonna move? When we gonna get up out this bed? I mean, I know you're going through some things, but I still wanna move. <laughs> I'm not even lying. My body be like, I can't sit here. And it's not an anxious thing. It's just like, I don't, I don't feel like sitting still sometimes. I have enough energy to keep moving. And I like these. So I've gotten a lot of really good responses off of taking these and introducing these to you all. This is from Organics Nature. It's always linked in my um, link tree. And it's always linked down below. Yeah, in my link tree for sure. I even have a code now. So when you go to my link tree, I think it's in my code or it's the specific link they automatically get you a discount. I think that's what it is. And then this is what I take with it, the women's probiotics. I told you all I need to get the omegas in me. Now, what I've been doing is, I, I knew it was something I was missing. I've been putting hemp seeds in everything, like making hemp milk for my smoothies, make, putting hemp seeds in my salads. And it just tastes like sesame seeds, right? Hemp seeds and um, like any anything I do, right? My little, I actually found some raw wraps and I meant to show them to you all. And girl, it was so expensive. They were sprouted wraps. I was like, oh my God, $10, are you serious? But anyway, I don't even know how to make it myself. But I want to get more omegas in me. And I have B12, but I don't feel like I need it. Like, I don't feel like I need it. I feel like I'm good. So I don't know. I don't even, 
have a desire to take iron anymore when I used to take iron. I have no desire to take that. So the next blood test I'll do, I'm definitely getting that tested, but I know I'm can tell when that's like, it's like my toes, my fingers, everything be cold. You know, I haven't had that in so long. And I don't even know how many months I've been taking this faithfully every day. The only thing I stopped taking was like one a day, women's nature, whatever it is that organic, natural vitamin, the raw B12. And I stopped taking this for like two months in order to just see what this did for me. And baby, I love it. I normally just take them in the morning. Y'all, this is so good. That one has lime in it. Lime and ginger. I did watermelon, lime, and ginger. Watermelon, lime. And then just straight watermelon juice. Gone. Christopher gave one to his daddy. A whole third to our jar. It's just nasty. I don't know how y'all drink juice. He drank that one. So hopefully, you are following me on Instagram or TikTok. So you can see what I post every day of my meals. Um, I actually need to post this bookshelf. I think it's harder for me sometimes when I do these like detoxes because I'm cook. I'm responsible for cooking for my family. I'm the one. Well, they cook for themselves too, but I cook for my family. Yeah, I grocery shop for my family, so they're not eating what I'm eating. So I have access to all this other stuff opposed to some other people who can empty out their refrigerator or empty out their pantry and store it over and just have like everything, all the things they need to eat for like seven days or something. I can open my refrigerator and there's stuff in there. The guacamole, there's tortillas in the pantry, which I know I love. There's stuff, like salted nuts over there right now, right? There's stuff. And uh, it makes it harder. So normally what I do is like a day or two before I decide to like do raw for a while, I'll just fix a couple meals or something. Um, make sure it's something easy for them to do so I'm not standing over food, right? Cooking. And then by that fourth day, I'm good. I'm just selling on. I'm good. And um, usually about a fourth or fifth day, they pick up and they hop on. I bought a ton of fruit on Sunday. I would say like a hundred dollars worth of fruit. And like I said, we're down to one watermelon and two pineapples like it goes really quickly because they they want to eat what i eat with their dinners with their foods <sighs> so i mean you can't be mad at them for eating good you know what i'm saying can't be mad at them for wanting this beautiful juice like i ain't mad at you at all i want my kids to thrive and be healthy they just they would eat up everything all the bananas what was it, like 15 pounds of bananas? <laughs> and that's like six bananas left. They, they'll eat it all up. So anyway, I'm going to finish off as much as I can of this. And then I'll pick back up with y'all later when we go back outside. No, actually, I'll pick up with y'all later when I show you my harvest. Then we'll go back outside. Hold on. Good morning. Look at this. My hair is sweated out and everything again. Good morning. I'm trying to finish up the yard. I used that um, weed eater, the blue one I got, with the brush head to knock down that. <laughs> but anyway, let's get started. Let's get started on these towers. I told y'all, I'll let y'all know what's growing on the towers. Okay, that's Christopher's weed eater. He can't use that big one just yet, but these are my towers over here that we planted together. Well, we planted this one together, I think. <laughs> No, we didn't. We planted this one together. And this one I did separate. I have one more that's in a garage. I'm going to plant, but I'm going to wait until the end of July or something like that. It's just so hot out here. I just don't know what was surviving, what's actually growing. I'm having to take those and cover them, like I said before. But these are my... Um, all of the towers this year were basically the towers of what can I grow? How much can I really grow in a small space? It was to push the limits of just growing, right? Originally, I was thinking about putting like the four towers here and just having them just all here and everything just growing. So essentially, that would have been 120 plants growing in just this area. And I wanted to show like how you can grow in small space. But I would have to like bring it out more because of how full these get 
what I did what has gotten I should say I decided just to leave this right here my third one will go right here I just have to move that post but the third one will go right there so I'll show you what's growing this video is probably extremely long I know sometimes y'all enjoy these long like gardening vlogs or whatever so yeah here's my dragonfly that's out here every day with me every day every day he's out here every day with me so crazy but anyway uh, as soon as I walk out the door, it just flies across to me. <laughs> Alright, so let me show you what's growing in these towers right here. Sorry, I'm trying not to shake the camera. So we're we'll start on uh, bugs. So we'll start on this tower and let you know what's growing in it. It has a lot of basically basil, onions. It has some okra in here, some green leaf. Like uh, I want to say it's spinach, y'all, but it might not be spinach. Because it's so hot, I was just trying to drop seeds and show like what can grow things that people like to grow in ground especially like okra to show yeah you can grow okra too you just have to get the one that doesn't grow so tall like the bubba okra or like the shorter versions the one to go up like 18 24 inches or something right but i wanted to show that it actually can grow in here and this one all this came from seed it was like this little in this pot and i just moved it over here and i'll show you why in a minute there's some radish growing in this one but this one's been here for maybe two weeks y'all I just cover it every day water it real deeply like every other day like it's it's deeply watered so it's wet and then I top water it pretty much in the mornings so let me show you the stock on this looks really good there's some basil down here there's some look like um, rosemary green onions popping up here so it's quite a bit going on here. Some of this should be radish and what's the other one? Uh, beets, okay? So I'm not sure how this got over here. I was just thinking about this a few minutes ago, like how did this get here? But anyway, some more green onions. This is, I can't think of the flower. My mind is blank right now. It's that blue flower that I use for tea, but it's trying to do something and this is like the wrong time for it it's hot y'all here are two more okras which they shouldn't have been planted this close but they are here's that pretty flower i purchased i told y'all i really like this flower i don't know why i like this flower but i really do here's another one back here that looks like an okra too and then here's some more of that flower i can't think of the name but i'll put it on the screen so there's some more popping through there. You can see everything starting to germinate. So things are growing. I leave the cover off in the morning till about 12. I would say about 12 when it really gets hot. Then I just cover it back up. That way it does get sunlight. It does get what it needs, especially the okra needs that sunlight. And I'm hoping, I was hoping that things underneath would kind of be shaded eventually from the okra being closer to the top and it would shade like the bottom that was my thought on that so if you are wanting to grow okra you don't have anywhere to grow it you never you know maybe then you can grow it in grow bags for sure i just wanted to show you that you can actually grow in the green stock too now this is going to be something <laughs> that i hope don't break my heart okay so I dropped this seed in here and this is actually a squash seed the thing about it is i'm hoping because the roots can't get as large in this pot as it would in like the ground or something it doesn't get as big but girl that's a trash man we did not put our trash out lord have mercy oh well okay so this plant right here is uh, zucchini, I think, or maybe it's the green squash, whatever. It's one of those plants. And so the thing about it is, y'all, that I just pulled up one that had a million bugs on it, those squash bugs or whatever, and those vine hoarders. So I've been wanting to see if I can grow this in a green stalk. As soon as I see any type of, I'm about to die, I'm struggling, I'm going to attract some bugs, I'm pulling it. I don't want this whole tower to be infected by this one plant but this is my trial right now next year when i start planting all these towers up for like summer spring fall whatever i would have known by my own experiences what can and what can i grow all right so anyway starting with this one so it does look really good and the soil looks really good i keep it water or whatever so this stalk tower right here is basically beans 
all things beans. So some of the beans I actually purchased because I wanted to do like a succession plant type of thing on here where some were more mature than others and everything else came from seed. So I'll show you what I purchased and what came from seed. So this beauty right here is, is this one? So this one right here is a black eyed pea. So this is black eyed pea. It looks really good. It's not struggling or doing anything crazy. Never grown that before, just so you know. This one right here is from seed. It's that that purple bean, you know, like the purple ones or whatever. I forget what they call. So this one has two in it. Um, there's one popping up there. There's two. I try to put one or two in each spot, right? This one right here was purchased. Got a little vining on it going on. So let's just pick this one up while we're talking. And this one is purple hull peas. So everything I purchase is bush variety. Everything I purchase is bush variety. Everything I seeded is also bush variety. Okay. So coming around here, there are some more of the purple ones, right? And then when we go up one, I think all oh, these are the green ones. So these, oh, this is actually the mini snacking cucumbers, right? Let me see what it says. I purchased these too. Patio snackers. Great for containers with trellises. Full sun. So like I said, I try to give it some sun. And now that it's starting to take off, I do need to get something for it to trellis. I was hoping it just like started latching on and just went around. But uh, yeah, we'll see if it latches on. If it uses its spiny legs and latch on. But this is so cute to me. So come around here on this side. This one. Does this have a tag? So this might be from seed. This might just be a bush bean. And this one's from seed. It got a little bit of activity going on. Nothing too alarming. And this is my second snacker. So I do have more than one. I love the fact that I've already started putting out flowers. So that's pretty cool. All right. So by this door, I have the centronella right here. But anyway, this is a marigold down here. Another one of those purple beans or whatever i'll put the name on screen so this is a zinnia you know i like to put zinnias or proper colors in all the towers back here looks like no nope, that's in it like some ate this leaf right here but this is a, another one of those i think purple hole peas this is a bean 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 right all these are the green so you'll see it's red beans they're not really red, but they're purple, right? Bush. They'll go here, and then this the green, and then this is the randoms I purchased, and then we go back down to green and red. So hopefully when it fills out, it'll look pretty, and it'll also be uh, not only look pretty, but beneficial to us. So some of them popped up, some of them didn't. As you see, there's only one in here. But you see how the sun, yeah, this is just from too much fertilizer, actually. But, um, yeah, I'm going to leave these alone. But everybody's doing really good in that top. Everybody's doing really good on this one. I can't wait to see this one fill out and do its thing. So those are those two towers. That's what's going on. Basically beans. <laughs> All kind of beans and peas, right? And then basically with a little few snacking cucumbers and a zucchini. This is randoms. Randoms, just I want to try. Can we grow this or can we not? Okay. Hopefully we are successful. Like I said, I've been covering them. It doesn't feel um, extremely high in temperature right now. It's just humidity is ridiculous. I'm literally just soaking wet already. Um, so this one, we talked about this tower over and over. But if you're new, welcome to the channel, honey. This was going to be my fun tower. It was supposed to be a lot of tomatoes. And every tomato from this tower actually is a sucker from any tomatoes I grew over there. That's basically what this is. All right, so we had some lemon basil. This is lemon basil as well. We have the tomato here. Like I said, here's some more suckers. Look, they just popping up. I can't really have them on this tower though. I'll put this one in water. All right, so some more tomatoes down there. This is actually Cosmos. Here's a pepper plant right here. And the pepper plants do really good in the green stalk. Just so you know, I get a lot of peppers uh, when it comes to the green stalk. This right here I purchased, it just died on me. It just, the oxus, 
oxalis mic it died on me so this is that basil um thai basil is basil does good in these things let me tell you they do amazing in these towers basils peppers oh my god mustard greens collard greens amazing i picked a bunch of tomatoes off of this one yesterday there's still tomatoes growing and yeah it does well this tower does really well so I need to come out here and get all the suckers off of this one. I wasn't able to yesterday. It was just too hot. So I didn't buy the trellises for this one. I kind of just strung up the stuff so it wouldn't lean over. Um, nobody sees it but me anyway. You do what you got to do, right? So here is some kale. I cut up. A, I've been coming out here getting kale for kale wraps. And this one doesn't look so well. But I'd rather it eat this than eat anything else. So that part. This is comfrey, and I think it's just too hot for y'all, but I'm so glad I put it at the back of the tower. And my whole thing was everything at the back of the tower were items, were foods. Hold on. Let me do this. So everything at the back of the tower basically is foods that cannot take a lot of sun. Um, like this beautiful, huge leaf basil. I am obsessed with this. Oh, my God. This is so freaking good. This is that Mexican... Um, it trails like mint. What is it called again? It's a medicinal herb. It's called sweet Aztec herb, medicinal herb, lipia. Let me tell you, I put that in tea last night with lemon balm and mint, and girl, I was so done. <laughs> I couldn't even do nothing. I was done. I was like, oh my god, yeah, I night night. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is full of tomatoes too, as you see here. This is dead and gone. It's dead and gone. Oh, it smells good, but it's dead and gone. It is the lavender. It just doesn't survive here in this heat. Anyway, so these are those pretty flowers I like too. They reminds me of like succulents, the texture of the flower, the stems or whatever. I'm editing and all I can say is I'm so annoyed that I said it's hot like a thousand times in this video. So, raise your hand if you're sick of me saying it's hot. Just raise your hand. It's okay. I'm right there with y'all. I'm just over it. Y'all, the heat has gotten to be this year. I'm so sorry, y'all. So, more tomatoes. And like I said, a bushel of Thai basil. Yeah, it's a, it's a few things going on over here, but it looks overcrowded, but everything's growing just fine. So, that's this tower. This is what it looks like from right here. Just walk outside your door and grab all the herbs you need. Like, I love this. And I cut a bunch of this yesterday. You'll see. I'll show you the mini harvest in a minute. Um, this, is, this is still looking good. Like I said, I need to keep trimming these balls. Keep trimming these balls. This is finally dying back on me. Finally. Like, this was so beautiful. But it's that time of year. It's hot, y'all. My Everything is, like, struggling, right? All right. This is about gone too. So I can't believe this is still yet holding on. But this one right here is getting bigger than the other ones and they were all the same size. This topiary right here is getting so much bigger and I just really need to keep up with trimming this before it becomes one big old thing, which I don't care if it grows into one. Um, this looks good. So you remember we bought this from the grocery store and we rooted it and this is my uh, lemongrass. So one day I hope to put this in a huge pot. I hope it gets really big and we can repot it for sure. Let me see what else we got over here. Here's some mint. I got a little bit of that yesterday to dry. And then, of course, we trimmed back all this. I think I told you all this already. Oh, we got to take this off for a few. All right. So this is what this one looks like. I love these towers. They're just like the best towers. Easy to grow. Great for beginners. Great for people who, I don't want to say this, like maybe you're at an age where you don't want to bend down and you don't want to have to um, go from um, bed to bed. You just want to grow vertically. You have maybe less space or I just think this is good for everyone to be able to grow so many plants, so multiple plants in one space. See, so they just every day I'm out here picking out these uh, banana peppers. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. So it's just hot, but as you see, it helps to contain the moisture with these pockets being deep like this. And here's some kale. Oh my God, I love it. 
get over here. I love all this. And I keep cutting this. Y'all know I keep cutting this, right? And it just keeps growing. It just keeps giving. This is my giving tree. <laughs> and this is my collar tree. It just keeps giving. It just brings me so much joy. It's kind of rubbery. But I just kind of rub it real good with olive oil and lemon juice before I use it as a wrap. All right. So I wanted to show that you can also grow lemongrass in these towers as well. Look at that. A bunch of basil. Some peppers. All the things, all the things, y'all, all up uh, stevia, all the things. So I'm gonna leave this off for a little bit and I'll come back and cover her back up. All right, so I didn't wash anything yesterday, which is really horrible um, for me. Normally I come in and I wash all the veggies immediately or wash them outside, but y'all, I tell y'all, I thought I was gonna die yesterday. <laughs> I was like, I'm about to die, it's hot. I'm basically gonna go through everything I harvested, show you real quick, and then just drop it in the water. So, so let me sit y'all here. Oh man. So I'm gonna sit y'all here and show y'all real quick. I'm gonna open up one of these cantaloupes together. So we got some tomatoes, green tomatoes. That we're just rinse off lightly. I'm just gonna sit them in the window. So I have some other ones I picked up the other day. I ain't watch these up. A couple of green tomatoes. Y'all know I'm eating raw, so please don't suggest me frying green tomatoes. I'm not gonna fry them. <laughs> We're gonna eat them when they turn, okay? I also have some of these beauties, these yellow tomatoes. Y'all know I like when they turn like this color right here. I love that. So we got one, one eggplant, two, three, four, we have, ooh, this is just basil. This is just regular, um, regular basil. Hold on, let me get a towel. Okay, there we go. I just need a little water to like dip everything off and then I'll wash everything when I get back from taking the kids to camp. Okay, so we have a bunch of this, which is, ooh, girl, it's mint. Which I just rinse the mint off, and then what I do is I bundle it and dry it. So if you've been around a while, then you've seen me dry mint several times, because I normally dry mint a couple times a week, basically. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I got it off. So my mint is already producing flowers on one side of my mint bucket or whatever. It's already producing flowers, so I'm just gonna grab the seeds from them, the ones outside. But it still tastes the same to me. I mean, it is what it is, it smells. Oh my God, y'all have no idea how good this smells. Like when it's dries and you put in a tea or some ice water when it's like fresh like this. Oh my God. So, I have some of these Bubba Okras. I have some of those. I have some of these regular Okras. If they're too hard to fry for the kids, what I'm probably going to do is um, save them for seeds. Because I told y'all I went out there picking like I should have been. So, some of these are a little, you know... A little bit bigger, but if you soak them in like some almond milk for a while, get you some, um, what you call that, corn, um, cornmeal, a little flour, like you would fried fish, basically. Um, you can get a really good fried okra. So it's not kind of mushy, it's a little bit harder and crispier when you use the bigger one. So I have that. I have another eggplant. This one's pretty big. I didn't see it back there. That's why I had to trim all that back. So these are the ones from my mini, my uh, green stock towers. So if you want to grow eggplant in your green stock towers, you can. They look good. They feel good. Got a little bounce to them. Yes, honey. Put that in some sauteed dishes. You're good to go. I went ahead and took these off. Even though they're small. Small, but we the still snack on them today and the salad, I'm sure. Because my plants are stressed right now from the heat. And I didn't want to stress them out anymore. So I did that. 
This is probably the size of the bubble okra I should probably pick. <laughs> it's before I get to this, I'm sure. But these, this is this is the okra I'm actually growing in the green stalks, just so you know, okay? And they're just a little fat. I don't know. There's so many different varieties of okra out there. It's amazing how many is really out there. So this is my lemon basil. So with lemon basil, I like it in salads. I like to make pesto for the kids. I'm going to make some today, so you'll probably see that in the next video. For us, I basically use uh, slithered almonds. Let me show you. I use the olive oil. I use olive oil, basil, these almonds, and I use the Parmesan cheese. A little sea salt, little herbs, or whatever in there, and that's how I make their pesto. Because, you know, I take my kids don't really like red sauce, like on their foods. They rather the noodles and pesto or a white sauce. So, this is a lot. And I'm going to get some more because they need to make a big jar because the kids like to put it on toast too, the pesto. All right, what else we got in here? So we got a bunch of these. That's why I say we don't need any more because we have a bunch of them already frozen. And these are from the, the little mini tower. So I just want to show you, you can, you know, grow a good amount of food. I don't know what all this is. Let me just drop this in here. Let me drop all this in here. More okra. More okra. Since it's so hot, I need to start cooking this okra every day. Every day. And and just crazy thing is, I literally thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to grow no okra. It's growing too slow. It's taking too long to take off. You know what I mean? And then look, we just got okra like crazy. It's, it's crazy right now. So this is okra. But this is from the Garden Tower, the Green Stock Tower. And these are like the banana peppers. So you can use like the same kind of mixture when you're making like pickles, when you want to pickle them. They're really good. I put garlic in mine when I pickle them. Here is a random tomato. And I think basically what's left in here is a bunch of these tomatoes. A bunch of tomatoes because my plants are just, they're going through it out there. And I don't want them struggling. So that's basically it of everything I've harvested. This is all flowers. Yeah, all this is tomatoes. Just a million freaking tomatoes. It was, oh, you know what else I harvested? A ton of these. And I'm going to have to pick these out this bucket too. Because what I want to do is take these peppers I harvested, sit them in the window to seal to dry, or sit them outside like on a pan to dry out. Maybe, I don't want to put them in the air fryer, but I want them to dry and I want to collect them. And then I'm going to dry them and make a dried pepper dried like pepper powder like a seasoning herb with some basil i think that's going to be so good so um, i have a bunch of these in this bucket i'm not going to pull them all out right now because this video would be two hours on honey yeah so some more tomatoes all right so i'm gonna take all this out i don't even know what this is girl what is this oh some more thai basil put that there we had a random <laughs> a random carrot Oh, we got to cut up our cantaloupe. Hold on. Hold on. So we got, oh, y'all, I'm so wet. I'm sorry, y'all. I got one, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. So this one I know is ready. I can look at it. I can smell it, actually. This one, I think I should just sit outside. For some reason, I feel like it's just nowhere near. And then I feel like this is the next one. But this will probably be breakfast for me. So let's cut this open. Let's see. Girl, let's see. <laughs> Get it to it, friend. Get it to it. How about girl? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let me get, let me get y'all peace. Cause I love y'all. Let me feed y'all first. Hear your peace. Okay, friend. Mm, mm, mm. Well done. Well done. Mm. Mm, mm. Oh my God. That is sweet. That's sweet. 
That's sweet, friend. That's sweet. It's about to go. Well, there's no breakfast. I'm telling y'all. Oh my God. I don't have no bra. Jesus. I'm telling y'all, this is like the easiest thing to do. Eating raw is so freaking easy because realistically, this stuff tastes so good. Like, who don't want to wake up and eat a bunch of cantaloupe, watermelon? Like, it's so good. That sound good. I better hurry up for Chris for wake up, child. Because he's going to want to eat the whole thing. A whole cantaloupe? Well, I'm going to save some. I'll let the kids taste some. I ain't going to do them like that. So they can see. Because I don't think that other one really ready. Oh, my God. I was so nervous. I was like, what if I fail at growing this cantaloupe that I didn't even grow? It just randomly planted itself. First of all, I didn't even do a reel. So, you know I'm tripping. Every year. I'm growing this every year, y'all. This I'm just so... Mm. Get into it, friend. Mmm. Mmm. Come taste it and tell me what you think. This is from the Mm hmm. Sweet, huh? Juicy, huh? Your mama did good, huh? <laughs> Look at that. I saved something for Penn and Terry. Tell them come taste it. Are they up? Okay. I don't think they like cantaloupe, huh? Or cantaloupe. I'm going to tell me if it's sweet or not. This is good. Yeah, that's good, huh? Mm -hmm. That's good. It's sweeter. Yeah, it is sweet. I got to go ahead and sip it well. Mm-hmm. I love that song. Okay. Mm. It's so much better. Mm-hmm.